There we go. Oh, let me correct that for the care. Uh, just deselect and I like that. <clears throat> Ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight along with Please, uh, Mike, Lieutenant Rakir, at your service, and happy birthday, dear Captain. <laughs> uh, thank you. And yeah, <laughs> as if that wasn't made you know, obvious. Uh, yeah, today's my birthday, and uh, to celebrate a bit, I guess I swapped out the backgrounds for here and our outro uh, a, a bit for, well, a bit more high quality, as you can see, and less, well, drab and one. Yeah, uh, orange and browns. Even though most of it does get hidden behind everything. <laughs> yeah. But still looks good. Yeah. Um Yeah, of course. <laughs> Welcome back to Dave the Diver for our seventh stream of this. Give me a second while I turn on the fan because the heat is starting to creep in. Yeah. Now you see why I wanted the rain back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I I have to say, I honestly did not expect us to go this long with this game. Not Same, I'm complaining. Yeah, I'm not complaining. I was just going to say, so we actually remember the other day, and I think we both had forgotten. Oh? But I think we actually spoke about placing this in the main quest after Doom Eternal. Unless we finish this yeah. game before Doom Eternal, of course. It depends which one be, be finished first. Yeah. I, well, we've already played it once on the main, uh, on, yeah, during the main week. Uh, let's see, how's things here? Okay, not yeah. nice expansion. I don't know how long this game might be, but we're not against long games with many episodes. We just want to be careful about that. Yeah. Okay, nothing new in here, so... Okay. So bright. I don't think there's many. I, yeah, I don't think there's an event coming up or anything. So for now, it's just working to progress through the ranks again. Let's see. Uh, oh, <laughs> Cleone Queen Soup 50, 135 tastiness, and it gives ten servings from one. Okay, which is good since we've only got one tentacle of it. I do wonder if we can redo some uh, bosses. Probably not the giant squid, since, well, <laughs> the preparation for that was a bit too specific for just serving here. Yeah, so I think I agree with you. That, that was also bought... Felt, something felt very different about it. Hmm. Let's see. Big-eyed scad and soybean paste roast. Okay. Also pretty tasty, also multiple servings. More eel curry. Yeah, we, we were actually planning about upgrading this one instead, huh? But then we get a boss that gives us good food instead. Let's see. Yeah. Though we could still upgrade this one for the next taste barrier, unless we get access to another very tasty food. Let's see, let's upgrade this some. And it's this one again. I have to say this is probably one of my favorite animations that they do with this. Just be in part because of that bit. It's just so freaking smooth from what I can see. Yeah, hand motions really are just some where you can really see if something has has had yeah, passion done into the work or put into the work. Oh yeah. <laughs> and no. At this, at the, at, we spoke about this before stream. Like we don't dislike Evil Land. Just the other games we're playing at the moment, like Doom Eternal and this. Yeah. Kind of out. It's an unfair fight. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's see, we've got a good amount of this, so let's put... Mm, let's put 10 up. Then we have the shark heads. Fri <laughs> frilled <laughs> shark sushi. Um, pretty... Yeah, let's do that. And then we put 5 on there. 
I really do need to keep... This time we really should try and keep a count of how many customers we get. So we know, well, what to prepare, how much to prepare for next time. Yeah, do Hmm. I suppose we get to know it after each night. I don't really think we get the... Uh, I don't think they reserve tables here. If there was a way for us to get a, a hint at how many people that might be coming, it would be nice, but... Uh, yeah, then you would be able to just plan out how many dishes you put down and you... It wouldn't be a part of the risk and reward stuff. Yeah. That's, yeah. Probably the overdoing get, it with this. Don't we get got any like hint there will be many people who was doing the uh, yet fish event. At least they, they did get a hint that there will be many. So we were okay. sort of preparing for that. And last but not least. Just upgrade this a bunch. Oh, oh that, that shrimp. I, for a moment I thought it was the clownfish, but we've already upgraded that one quite a bit. Okay, five of this. Plenty, probably make way too much, but oh well. Yeah, and I used to realize that's something we could dump uh, for your special day. Mm hmm? Uh, birthday chocolate cake or muffin <laughs> in front of you. Uh, it would have been nice. Uh, let's see. Actually, a cake bearer for if it was a muffin, it's suddenly sad. Yes, but I feel sad when I ever see someone eating a birthday cake yep. cupcake. And once again, I forget to turn on Do Not Disturb. Oh dear. Okay. Dang, there we go. Takes a moment. Uh, let's see. We're short on these and soy sauce. So let's send James to get soy sauce. Then we send the other two for the other. There. Hold on. Hold on. What? Did you just send Jason Bloody Warhees to do shopping? Yep. <laughs> the mask gets a discount. <laughs> the machete extra. <laughs> No, 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 Helia, you know how my <laughs> imagination is. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's hold... Actually... Mm. Oh, okay, I see what... I kind of overlooked this a bit. Flyer adds recruit staff at current cook, st uh, cook star level. Max two applicants. Recruit at level higher than your current cook star rating. And recruit staff at a much higher than current cook store uh, rating. So that that's why we got such high quality uh, can the candidates out of this one. So for now, let's do a simple flyer ad. Just to see who we can find and all that. And well, to have more hands for procuring and such. I guess that means we did the first team ad. We were extremely lucky to get the Raptor. Yeah. Uh, what are you up to? New upgrade available? Tranquilizer? Okay. Alright. This gives us an extra shot as well. So let's actually do this. <laughs> like... I know that Dove's an asshole, but just the stupidness of... Oh, hello. Enhanced gun three times. Just the stupidness of his animations does make me... Not warm up a bit towards him, but it does make me like him a bit more. Yeah, no, the first two ones were rather... Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I would say the first one so could have been worse. It could have been way worse. Let's see, frilled shark. A shark with a long eel-like body, wrinkled belly, flat head, and short and round snout. Measured at around two meters, it dwells at depths of 50 to 200 meters in the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans. It swims about with its mouth hanging open. Okay, 
But that's why I thought it was an eel. You can see its fins, but they're really tiny. Yeah, main thing for that one. If I, I think that's the only reason that it's kind of like in lost 10 years or something. I really want to discover it in Japan. Anything we can turn and in. You saw the page of the sea monster. But there's a good surprise, it was actually a deep sea shark. Okay, we has, we still haven't run into these damn things since the first few you know, since the last time for the uh, the special guests. So yeah, just get rid of you know, jellyfish and get rid of more of these. Uh, some seaweed, fossils, and other detritus. What is actually our reward for next time? Oh yeah, the eco gemstone bracelets. No clue what that might do. But for now. Uh, yeah, I think we're set. Okay. Uh, uh, wrong button. Okay. There. There. Oop. Okay, two in a row. Oh, sorry. Dave is not the speediest. And three in a row with that. Nice. Okay, uh, now the beer. I still have no bloody idea how to really do it with this one. Uh, yeah, bad. <laughs> Good enough, apparently. Oop. Clean that up quick. Serve another. Oh, that sound yeah. is not. I thought that sound was cool if yeah. only if there was something bad happening, but no, apparently. Yeah, you apparently had a perfect one. It hardly had any foam. Oh, okay, dear. I'll take it. Okay, and then just before it. Okay. Uh, and that'll be it for today. Let's see. Five, three, uh, five, eight, eleven. Everyone was hmm. happy. Yeah. So we'll get our score back up. Oh, <laughs> that is that is a good, good day. <laughs> yeah, wait, wait. Does it say how many we served? Uh, let's see. I can't. Okay, one useful thing from this is that. We, our expenses are at 500, so we need to try and keep 500 gold at all times, just to be able to cover the costs. Um, I'm not seeing anywhere that specifically says how many people were served. That would have been a nice little statistic, but it wasn't... We, ha we had way too much, so we did waste a lot, and yeah, we got... <laughs> We got a really good tip for one of the, the, uh, from one of the uh, queen soups. Just look at how much they paid for that. Wait, 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 where is it? In the middle, top sales. Oh. I think that means... Uh, oh, wait, oh. no. Five, five of them were served. And well, five times five fifty makes two thousand seven hundred fifty. So it wasn't a four hundred percent tip or anything. No, but still, we made a lot of money from that. So if we can find, uh, if we can find and fight that thing again, we definitely should. Yeah, especially now knowing how we to fight it. All right. <clears throat> We'll be set with money for a bit. Hmm? Some kind of mail is here. Gonna check it. Looks like we don't have a choice. Okay, Yacht Tuna Party. Hello, residents. Blue Hole Tourism Board here. The Blue Hole is getting more and more well-known and interest is growing. In three days, a yacht party will be held, as a lot of wealthy people will likely come. If there is a restaurant that can handle preparing high-class tuna dishes, this should uh, significantly increase sales. We ask for your support until it becomes the best attraction in the world. Blue Hole Tourism Committee. Okay, tuna this time. I'm not sure if we caught many oh. tuna. Hmm. Dave, have you read the email you just got? 
Yes, it says that there will be a tuna party soon. Oh. Right, and tuna is Susie's, free, <laughs> Susie's best friend. We can sell them for a good profit. Oh. I haven't seen tuna in the blue hole for a while. It's the beginning of tuna season now. Okay, so there, there are seasons as well with this? We will be able to make a fortune using this party. Mm. Hmm, but isn't it difficult to tat catch tuna? I hear that they are very fast swimmers. And big. That's why my investment is needed. Okay, this is where how we're going to know. This is how we're going to be able to catch big live fish, aren't we? Yeah. In the afternoon, I will bring a tool that can catch tuna. I will see you later then. Okay. No upgrade okay. kits. We'll take this one. And there's no real reason to go looking for trouble. So let's take this one. I wonder if we could, at one point, could put in an extra bit or something. Uh, not paint. Let's see. Let's go with the rifle for now. We still need to finish with the quest. Actually, before we go anywhere, let me check on the fish. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, that's a lot of them. Okay, yeah, they've been breeding like mad in here. <laughs> okay. Holy! Uh, let's keep two breeding pairs of food. Let's check and return to this. <laughs> and we sell all the less valuable ones. Or not to sell, we put them in the... <laughs> uh, wait, where did... Oh, alright, they moved them down because there are less of them. Okay, I'm yeah, guessing they're realized... basically sort of by how much space they take up or something. Maybe? So I just realized, you haven't ca caught a, a tuna. Yeah, that's what, that's what Cobra said as well. Probably because we can't actually get them just yet. So that is... What he's probably going to be bringing is the, the way that we can actually catch big live fish after tranquilizing them. Yeah, well, I know you tried and failed. Let's see, keep all of you. Sell these. And... That looks good enough. I... I don't really think jellyfish typically need a breeding partner or something, but then again, I don't know a thing about how jellyfish uh, reproduce and all that. Yep. I know they lay eggs, but I also know some of them... Also, oh, you know, I'm immortal. I said, well, once they die, they'll be basically a phoenix. Okay. Get they basically the... rebirth themselves. Going to keep those most for the moment. The eggs. But yeah, even mm. the immortal one lay eggs, uh, sounds, well, they do get eaten. Okay, to the boat, and well, since since we're getting the, the new tool in the afternoon, we can focus on trying to continue with the quest in this run, with the possibility of facing a boss. Uh, actually, I should have I should have upgraded my equipment. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> but yeah, we can focus on the main quest for now, and then later we can. In the afternoon, we can dive in with uh, it, with something to tranquilize things and catch fish. Oop. Yeah, it, that's a good idea. So let me swap these around. Oh, it's, it's automatically used. All right, yeah, if we find them in there, we automatically use them. Oop. Oh, a loggerhead turtle. The picture of, the, of, of a turtle is a must-have for a sea peach picture. All right, time to take a pick. Okay, I, I, I was looking at the jellyfish and it was why it was looking odd. Uh, there it is. Oh. Nope, eating jellyfish. Oh, wait. There we go. Not the best picture, but Dave has never claimed to be an expert photographer. So yeah, yeah that, that jellyfish is just already dead. 
Yeah, and that was a big one. And yeah, wait. I, remember, I did say that they uh, sit on us eat yellowfish last time. Yeah. Hello and behold. Let's gather up some stuff. That was Agar there. Yeah, let's not pick that up yet. I do want that oxygen tank, but I don't want to put away this uh, this box without anything to fill it up with. <clears throat> Soy sauce. Probably catch a fish or two. All right, don't forget. Do, do, do you know what we talked about the uh, Disney shows? I'm considered a fan of, but there were not many. Yeah. Came to that topic uh, the other day with my family and realized, oh, there's a few I actually forgot. Like Wait. Rescue Patrol. Rescue Patrol doesn't really sound too familiar to me. I know uh, there was. Is that with the mice or something? Yeah, the Chippendale. Uh, yeah, the Rescue oh, Rangers, no, they're called. Oh, yeah, Rescue Rangers. Rescue Patrol. Uh, I forget. It. It's called Rescue Rangers in English, but it's really called a Redness Patrol Rescue Patrol. Okay. That explains that. So we have That's... even made for Chippendale as well. Let's see. Chippendale in Swedish is Piff Book Proof. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they are basically of the sound, piff and puff. I don't know why. Uh, in Dutch, they're called knobble and bubble. That's basically <laughs> nibble and uh, chatter. I thought you meant bubble as in a bubble. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ah, yeah, we need to go check that other whale. Um, oh yeah, we also need to call Ellie about the uh, the whale. Oh, wh okay. This gives a bit more. A mother whale is crying. That her. What is a what is a baby whale called again? Uh, yeah, they're cough. probably looking for them. Yeah, calf. They're looking for their calf probably. Hmm. We we didn't have the bit of info that it, it was a. A mother whale in what we saw this thus far though. Uh, let's leave that behind. Okay. Oh yeah, about whales. Something I think I've this was a rom her or shall hear hear about. I mean whale species extinct whale species was discovered in Peru recently. Oh it, 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 first off, this damn thing was not fully grown. It was about 20 meters long. <laughs> I repeat, <laughs> not fully grown. That's not it. It weight. They estimate it made likely weight about 800, 180 tons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, I have the hiccups as well now. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of twice. sushi. Yeah, it's twice the amount of a blue whale, and it could have weighed more. And again, not fully grown. Yeah. And it was a relative to the Basilosaurus, a whale relative that got mistaken for a sea serpent. And I accidentally used the uh, oxygen tank there. But yeah, so far, from what they have, and from the weight and all that, they're guessing that. It was not a plant eater, like it says it did still look almost like a but more like looking at like a whale noodle, it was chunky like a sausage. Okay. One. And it don't uh, have a big head, it did have a small head, but it may have eaten mussels, small fish and uh carcasses along the shores. Uh, what is Do you get eaten? Uh, no wait, you were there. Oh, oh that was uh, that was a counterattack. <laughs> it just decides nope. Okay, yeah. Uh, no uh, some oxygen, you. please. Now I'll, I'll take air. it. It's yeah. a chunky boy. They did what they found recently again. And again, just not fully grown. 
and open the desk every. There, yeah, just to get rid of that thing. It, it went from shock to bad trucks with the uh, holy persons. Yeah. Okay, now that that detour is over. Okay, we need to find the other landslides. Pull that open. And then we can get to the Sea People Village. Give me a little thing. Okay. Hmm. Don't think we'll find anything of much use in a weapon crate down here. I'll take that mostly for Amethyst Collection. Okay. Actually, for the entire duration of... Oh, hello. The entire duration of this uh, quest, this lower part has not been changed much, if at all, I'd say. So, yeah, I probably should have dived down on the right end of the map from the start. That might change. Let's... This is different, though. Let's grab one extra bomb. Not bomb. Bullets. Yeah. Just as I said, it's hardly changed. We get to an area that has changed. There's still that odd gates over to the left there. Oh, there's the big suck up. Yeah, let's see. Um, where is that other rock pile that we have to dislodge? It should be somewhere on the left side. Uh, grabbing this for air and maybe a pearl. No pearl, it seems. Okay. Oh, this was a mistake. Yes. Okay, luckily we had some invisibility frames there for a second, it seems. So, uh, we didn't get actually hurt from the explosion itself. Still, that stings. Yeah. Oh, oh come on. Really? Okay. Really what? Since it's your birthday, <laughs> I'll, I'll be glad you this one. Hey. There we go. Uh, um. What do me suspect he did not realize he made a pun? Uh, I do realize it, but it wasn't the intention. <laughs> okay. Yep, little near you. Hmm. I don't think I would ever really want to try a... You're new. I don't think I'd ever really want to try a Sea Wars uh, Sushi. For one, because there's practically... There's not much <laughs> meat to the bone. And, well, with Sea Horses, they're cute. Yep. That thing, though, yeah. is not cute. Like... If I had a very little choice to eat, like if I was stranded on an island or something, I could probably eat and grill them, but I would try to make sure it's uh, the edible ones. Stupid I don't think some are poisonous. Mm, would not be surprised. And yeah, the, the thing we just mined, that was diamonds. <laughs> Ooh. Ah, there you two are. So... We should be rich. Okay. That second rock pile was somewhere around here, I think. So, let's see. 
We opened this up with the previous one. So where is the second? And are we just back to where we just were? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, now we now we encounter one of the yes, we've been here. Yeah, one of the dangers of diving, especially cave diving, is that you can get disorientated. Yeah. And, well, if you don't know where you're going, you're going to be wasting oxygen, and well, oxygen is literally your most precious resource underwater. Yeah, and worst case, when you realize you're lost and start to panic, you'll burn through it even faster. Even more. Yeah. Where is that rock pile? Okay, luckily there is an escape thing? point here. I think it's, in, it's on to the e west. Okay, I thought it was to the left, but apparently not. Or, ah, you there we go. The left one. Hmm. Or right, you have to stick around. Yeah, there's nothing that can be done on this side. I'll have to try and go back around, around back. Okay. Um, does the way that we came have a way to get there? All right. I think what happened was you tried to do that, and then you ran into the green thing. Yeah. Oop. I'll take that. Ah, this must be. This must lead there. Okay. If there is a fight coming up, then I'd say we're plenty prepared. There we go. Hmm. There's that poison thing. Okay, I'm pretty sure that this side of the map at this depth isn't randomized because of the quests. Oxygen tank? Nope, I'll take it just to have something there, though. Um, all of these bombs have me thinking that there is going to be something. And Okay, there's definitely something hidden behind that. Hmm. Not far enough around, though. And this looks like a dead end. Okay, that means that we need to go down and to the right and then up and back to the left to get to the back of that rock pile. Hmm. I do wonder what those signs read. Like, we have a translator for their speech, but nothing for their writing at the moment. So, for all we know, those signs read danger, stay the hell away. Yeah, or something weird. Hmm. Like, like what the Viking did in the Babylon. He offended yeah, Viking. Uh, I saw the stories before. A Viking was in service to the king of Babylon of that time. And uh, the I forgot the god, the god group name. I think it was one of them at least. One of a bunch of Vikings. He had uh, that personal gods. Okay. One of them got up on the roof and wrote something in runes. And many people inside this thought, oh, what could it be a spell or something? But after many years, they found and translated it. And guess what it said? Uh, <laughs> Durgan was here. Close, they said Olaf was here. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're the only one who speaks it and reads it, you can screw around. Yeah, but imagine, imagine the scientists, like, they finally got an answer, but at the same time, they feel trolled. <laughs> uh, it makes you wonder, uh, they're in the afterlife, uh, how that Olaf is, uh, if he's laughing his ass off at the moment. Probably. There's a stake in the back, if I pull that out. How did these stakes get here in the first place, actually? Yeah, oh weird. There's a lot of stake here. There we go. Two easy pulls. 
And no chance of crossing ourselves this time. And that did it. Let's just hope we didn't crush someone's house or the entire village. <laughs> wow, human. Yeah. Good, we have a good. We have a path. Oh. <laughs> you're more useful than you look, and you're more useless than you look, to as one. The village is very close. Come in through the hole you just made. I'll go ahead. Wait, I can leave now, can't I? Would you listen to yourself? Aren't you worried for Ramo? Besides, I have a request for you. So, I would like you to come to the village with us. See people of village? Me? Uh, on the other side of the radio, Dr. Bacon is listening in and <laughs> needs to change the uh, pants. <laughs> yes, there's a reason I came all the way up uh, to the human sea. I have a request. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, I, I, I have a few guesses. Usually it's like, stop throwing your trash into our ocean. <laughs> Probably. Uh, oh, look, that's a so common theme. Let's grab that. And refill over here. Hopefully we'll have an escape point at the village. Like, it's, I, very, I find it very doubtful that we can find a pocket of air in there. But if absolutely needed, we have an escape point over here. Anyway, now we're really going down in the depths. Ugh, I'm getting real spooky vibes. Uh, um... It's something just moved past me, past all of us, I'm pretty sure. Human, go on ahead and be our lookout. But it's so dark. I feel like there might be something dangerous there. Well, this is going to be absolute hell for all the people with thalassophobia. What was that? What? Oversized glowworm? It looked like either a deep sea fish or a monstrous deep sea shark. Both of fish, but I think you know people what I mean. Yeah, it had small fins. Let's see what it is. You sense a dangerous creature's presence. Enter. Always nice to have to confirm or confer, uh, confirm that there is a boss coming up. Not that we could, could have, not that we couldn't figure that out ourselves. Okay. <laughs> What is this? Why is there debris like this so deep? I'm guessing the sea people like these things for decorations. I think or we'll get more use out of them as lifelines. Uh... Oh no, those vibrations again. Something has to be there. Here. Where did he tell me to come alone? I'm pretty sure we've we should have brought along an armored sub. <laughs> Hello there, uh, big and ugly. And glowy. Wait, Wolf that's... eel. Oh, that's why it looks familiar. <laughs> what is that? There are wolf eels that big? Uh, I don't think I can run. No, uh, whatever. Okay. Oh no. Uh, grab on, grab, damn it. Oh, luckily, we don't ever use for this thing at the moment. Actually, can it swallow those? Okay, it's coming from another angle. Uh, uh, it looks really tough. Huh? It's trying to spawn in its tail. It looks weaker than the rest of its body. Okay, so it can set those off. But it's only the tail is the weak point. So you may need to shoot the tail. Yeah, that's probably the only place that we can hurt it. 
Okay, but how do we lure it out? Okay, it's going for a background strike. Yes. Hiding it smart it well. Like, it looks like it has glowy eyelashes. Ow. I see. It's whilst it's trying to burrow, that's when we strike. Look at 76 damage. Oh dear. Exit. Then it's going to attack from the background. <laughs> oh, I like this tune. Okay, I'm yeah, pretty sure it sets where it attacks. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, we can have extra stuff fall from the ceiling. Oh, go underneath it. Okay, and... Fire. Okay, good thing we upgraded that thing. <laughs> it's only three shots. If, if we hadn't brought the rifle, this could have taken a lot longer with just our little knife. <sighs> How can an, a wolf eel be so big? <laughs> I was just about to come and defeat it. I guess I came too late. Uh, shove it up the ale's ass. <laughs> You're stronger than I expected, human. Now, you see that big gate over there? That is the entrance to the village. Take the lead, human. Okay, first off, though... Uh, oh, the extra stuff's vanished. Yeah, I think yeah, this well. was supposed to be for the boss fights. Yeah. Let's see? It died Tail meat. from that. Yep. Okay, and there's the gate. Huh. Rather Eastern style. Phew, we're finally back to the village entrance passageway. Ramo, you have a key, right? No, no I left the key back at the... Just kidding. I <laughs> have it here in my bag. Phew, I thought you were asking me to take you again. Let's insert the key and get back to the village. Okay, freaking teas. Both her yeah, and the game. Was... <laughs> I think it was new that wanted to tease us with that. Yeah. There is a thing is on games. At this rate, Dave is going to need to put sunglasses in his diving mask. Including me. So bright. <laughs> okay. A yeah, very, very... Hmm. Mm. Wow. So this is... <laughs> That's right. This is the sea people village we live in. The thing there would be a place like this under the sea. Also, um, uh... Wait! How, how did the human get in here? Huh? Ramu and Suwam? Uh, Suwam? Were you kidnapped by this human? Tenzin awaits you. He's lost sleep worrying about you. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. Allow me. I rescued Ramu after she was kidnapped by a squid. Forget it, just take me to my father, and we've passed it for me to explain things to him. Especially with <laughs> liar, liar, fish tail on fire there. I was like, what were they, were they just whispering amongst each other there, or chuckling at the fact that Suwam got called out? Nope. Nope. Oh my goodness, Ramo, my daughter. Where were you, my precious girl? Your daddy your daddy was worried out of his wits. Are you hurt? Did the humans do something to you, my daughter? Wait, who is this next to you? I thought you'd brought uh, you you'd brought a blue manatee, but this is a human. <laughs> Angie Dave's Angie. Too rude. 
What is going on here? I'd like an explanation. So you know that strange things have been happening around here recently, right? For example, the tremors and the ice melting off the divine tree. Ice melting? Of course, Ramo. I've been looking into the causes. It's already been two years. You know our technology has its limits. Well, the ancient texts have all been lost, and we need to figure out new methods again. We can't simply keep waiting, Father. Humans are selfish, but they have good technology. We need their help. Okay, that's what you came up for. No, not the humans. They can't be trusted. They dirtied our home and even hunted our kind to put it on display. They're wicked creatures looking to hunt us and steal from us. We can't ally with the likes of... Okay, I'm guessing now why we know why they went, well, I'd say on the ground, but, uh... Yeah... Oh. Oh. It seems that that wolf here was not the only cause. Go, go ahead. I was gonna say... They probably should not expect that after... Uh, we don't know how long this happened, but if it ha what happened for a thousand years ago or something... They should probably thought that maybe try again? Uh, true, but typically such prejudices eventually turn into tradition and, well... Oh, uh, yeah. Not a good thing, though, when that happens. Not a good yeah. thing. That just deepens a problem. We we see it we see it to this day or, or, or as still with uh, some countries who will absolutely despise others simply because of something that happened uh, centuries ago or even between villages or the you know, families or some like, <laughs> like yeah, you you think the Romeo and Juliet families uh, would be. Uh, a rarity, but apparently in some places it is not. They are there are literally families who are at generational feuds with each other. Yeah, it is honestly really ridiculous. Yeah. Another huge tremor. See, something really bad will happen if we don't do anything. Um. Hmm. When I was taken by the giant squid in human waters, Dave here helped me out. Swarm said he was the one who did that earlier. Try asking him. Not all humans can be bad, can they? I mean, well... Even... Even if I wanted this, the villagers would not agree. Getting help from humans, everyone would find that hard to believe. If this man can gain the villagers' trust, I will consider your, I'll consider your suggestion. But you're not just going to tell everyone I'm a weird-looking manatee. Hmm, the village's trust. How, how does he go about winning that? How about asking around to see what they need? <laughs> I think Swan might have stolen a copy of Skyrim from somewhere. Alright, since today's a long trip... Uh, uh, yeah, since today's long trip must have been pretty tiring. Human, come back here tomorrow. You'll have to listen to the village's requests. Wait, I don't didn't even agree yet. How am I supposed to come all the way here? Okay, chapter three. <laughs> hmm. Since you say you help my daughter Ramo, I suppose it wouldn't be fitting for my people to ignore your needs, even if you're a human. Take use this. Okay. What is this? It looks like an ordinary mirror. This sea people mirror, once installed, will let you instantly travel to this village. Wow, is such a thing possible? Give, give me a second. Okay. I forgot to swap it to turn over the live sign, and while well, there is still family in the house and such, visiting. Do you say live or life? <laughs> yeah. Don't really know how and don't really... Eat. Oh. <laughs> I might have eaten too much and we still have leftovers for tomorrow. Plenty of leftovers for another barbecue. 
which it uh, would make like, please <laughs> share that would make like the fifth or something this month <laughs> Share yeah. with me, and then I beg you, share me some barbecue. Uh, I'd send it by mail, but uh, <laughs> it wouldn't arrive in a good state. Uh, also, quick tip for barbecue, uh, sweet potato sliced. Do, do cook it beforehand for five minutes, otherwise it will take forever for it to uh, actually be grilled. Am I hearing heresy? <laughs> the various disasters have caused a decline, but our ancestors were a very advanced civilization once. Right now, all we have left is a few of their relics, sadly. In any case, installing this in your village will allow you to come to this village whenever you need. It will recognize your face, so only you will be able to use it. Okay, good precaution. It also operates from the light of the divine tree or the uh, sun. So you can only use it during the day. Oh, and I'll give you a village map to use. It will help you find the villagers. Mm. Hmm, a teleportation device. That's pretty amazing. Mm. I'll have to go back to the boats with this mirror for now. Yeah, that will okay. help us a lot. It, it'll also give us instant access to the depths. Instead yeah, of having to go through it, everything else. This is what I can analyze from that thing at the moment. Solar powered? And teleportation. Yeah. And it looks ancient. Like the difficult item that look is so advanced that you mistake it for magic. Yeah. And I, I had to loosen up my belt there. <laughs> Bloody heck, that's a big eel. Yeah. And it seems that the afternoon got skipped over, so we'll probably hear from Cobra tomorrow about his yeah, uh, yes. tuna thing. Yes, you're not. Uh, all bosses that stand same size? Probably. Uh, unless... Oh. That's the maximum amount, amount it can count, ain't it? Probably. So it could have been even bigger. Let's see. Good amount of meat. Oh. Uh, uh, Ooh, a loggerhead turtle. Me. Isn't this actually the same kind of turtle that's in uh, Finding Nemo? Uh, I think it's a different species. Yeah, they look but similar, a, but uh, what do I know? Definitely, but I think it's a different color. Yeah. As a child, I dreamed of exploring the waters on the back of a turtle. <laughs> of course, I would drown myself if I really tried that. <sighs> okay, some extra cash. <sighs> yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, I so would have preferred it if it hadn't used up the entire day, but oh well. Yeah. Uh, oh, that, hello to little Jesse! <laughs> hello to Crazy Jess. You doing good today? Let's see, yeah, sneaks my way in with my blankie. <laughs> okay, two applicants, one with good procure. Uh, oh, really good stats overall, actually. Not that they, they will replace anyone, but still, having someone else to... someone more to go find stuff is useful. Ooh. Let's see. Tired but good. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm just back from a bar family barbecue. That's our place here. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm a, <laughs> I'm a bit uh, stuffed. Let's see. I guess I will install this Sea People mirror on the boat. Mm. He said I could, uh, I could go to the Sea People village with this during the day, right? I should go tomorrow. Mm. Oh, no. Look at the time. Bunch of sushi must have opened already. I should drop by and check if anything of note happens. Hmm. There you go. You just had to uh, go mm. open a window, some final down, and I also went to grab a blank as well. <laughs> I'll blame Jesse. Um, looks like I arrived too late. Okay. I should do a little cleanup. We also forgot to feed the cats. Oh, hello there, Yoshi. Huh? It's Yoshi. What are you doing here? Well, my work ended just now and I was passing by. I saw the lights were on despite the hour. Bonjo seems to have gone home already. He looked a bit tired recently. I'm worried he might fall ill. 
Even so, I'm glad to see him working so hard against uh, again like this. Yeah. And come to think of it, I heard he once gave up on cooking because of a certain incident. Come yes. Back then I thought he was gone for good. Yeah. I wonder what it was about. Come well, it's nothing that secretive. Come I simply avoided mentioning it with him present just in case it's still a sore spot for Bancho. Yeah. I'm thirsty. Can you give me a glass of beer? Oh dear. And, um, that's the stopping point. That... Again, I just... I... Again, I don't get this pouring minigame. <sighs> Nothing so refreshing as a glass of beer after work. Oh. It's especially nice to have a view of the sea at night, like this, as I drink. Hmm. I'll tell you now a bit about Bancho and why he quit cooking for a while. Personal. It was 12 years ago. Okay, so he... Okay, so he's been on, uh... Yeah, he hasn't cooked professionally in 12 years. Hmm. This is Dugong Hotel. I worked here 12 years ago. It's a five-star hotel with both tradition and a long history. It looks a bit old, yes, but at the time, the quality of the food and service has been, had been newly improved. There she do you have a moment? What is it, manager? Well, a troublesome customer left a reservation. Troublesome customer? Do you know the artist Lois Crawford? Actress. Act yeah, actress <laughs> Louise uh, Louis Louis Lo Lois Lois like Lois Lane Lois Crawford she made a reservation at our hotel. Yep, yeah, suddenly we've gone a uh, Ace Attorney. Let's see. Our Dugan Hotel is a luxury hotel with many years of history and tradition. In the past, we had nobles staying in our accommodations, and many notable films were shot here. Many people seeking that sort of old era nostalgia used our services, and we had a very high and we had very high standards for the services we provided. Okay. <clears throat> Pardon. The manager had spent his entire life at the hotel. It was like he it was a living embodiment of its history. He had a lot of knowledge about the etiquette used by the upper class of each country. He was very used to servicing those of high rank. Many VIPs saw his services. Okay, what about this Lois? Lois Crawford. She was a leading actress with a long career. Her role as a spy in one of her most famous works, The 42nd Floor, was extremely impressive. She appears to have hit a slight slump as her new movies haven't been doing very well. Okay. I've heard that, Louis, uh, that Lois uh, Crawford can be very picky. But we are a very high quality rest hotel with a history and tradition on our side. I don't think there will be any issue if she comes. Let me guess, Bancho services her and she does not like it at all. <laughs> uh, so there it is. Nobody can beat the level of services and staff at this hotel. We've won many prizes as well. Just one thing. You haven't heard the rumors about her, have you? The rumors? Take a look at this. This is... She's famous not only as a chef, but a gourmet. That's a... That's a blurb she published in a travel magazine recently. It appears to be a description of her travels, but it's just her bashing on the hotel she stayed at. Gloria hotels are the best of the best, and yet she wrote such a scathing review. Oh, one of these type that just use their position to just bitch about anything they can because they find pleasure in just ruining restaurants and such. Oh no. Bringing out the bad does make a person look more professional. Writing is mostly like this. What do you suggest we do, Yoshi? Uh... Hold on. I think, here's the thing. If people notice you right like that to every, every hotel restaurant, people will catch on. True, but people typically tend to, uh, uh, what is the word? 
uh, defer to uh, celebrities' uh, opinions, even if they are poorly <laughs> supported and uh, argumented opinions. Because, well, they're successful, they must know better. I never thought like that. I suppose we can't review and re refuse the reservation, if only for the hotel's reputation's sake. In that case, we'll have to think about how we'll serve her. We'll take the reservation, but we also need to think of ways to satisfy her. Yeah, it, to, refusing it would be taken as a, a sign that we would definitely this place definitely wouldn't be up to her standards. <clears throat> I suppose you're right. Do you have any idea, yes, Yoshi? Um, our hotel's strengths are her long history and tradition, as well as our high-quality service. The way we can satisfy her will involve making good use of these things. Did she reserve a suite? Yes, it's a suite. We'll need clean rooms and services that match her tastes. We'll treat her as a VIP. I'll look into the drinks and amenities she prefers and place them as I, uh, as I also check on the state of the rooms. And about who will receive her? I suppose we'll have to do that. Thank you. There's no one that can handle such a tricky customer except you, with your long experience with many VIPs. More tense than usual. And about the meals, we can offer her the buffet for breakfast, but we'll also need to ready a dinner course. Uh, the di dinners at our hotel, Italian or French? Let's go with French. We have fantastic French food in our hotel. It's the pride and joy of Dugan Hotel. With a Michelin star uh, head chef at the helm, that must be Boncho. But you came at the most inconvenient time. Our head chef is in France on a culinary research trip. Uh, okay, that's not Boncho. The sous chefs ha have taken his place for now, and he cooks wonderfully as well. Over our upcoming customer is a very difficult one. Okay, Japanese then? Dugong Hotel's Japanese food has never been its strong suit, but uh, we only serve du udon and s or simple donburi. We've been making ex exponential progress, however, after we hired Boncho. We've, we've grown quite <coughs> we've grown quite bad dramatically. Boncho is famous for his ability to reinterpret the use of ingredients, and his food was recently featured in the overseas magazine. He might be our dark horse. That means Japanese is likely to be our best choice. I'm guessing the Italian chef is also away. Buncher hasn't really proven himself yet. Do you think it'll be all right? Hmm. Buncher's skill is indisputable. However, one great drawback is that he doesn't consider the preferences of his customers. His sole focus is letting people try new flavors. That is what drives his creativity, of course. But this time it won't really serve us. We're dealing with the infamous Lois Crawford after, um, Crawford, uh, after all. Let's see. That's a good point. However, I think the best we can do right now is try and persuade Boncho. That's not going to happen. <laughs> I agree. Best of luck, Yoshi. Oh dear. And there we have a younger Boncho. Boncho, are you here? Miss Yoshi, what are you doing here? Oh, you're here. That's good. I've come to check on the status of the manager's request. Look all you want. It's just an ordinary Japanese food in the kitchen. Boncho was a peculiar man. He suddenly appeared one day, handing us a resume and explaining he'd been learning in Japan. All the sushi establishments listed in the res resume were top tier, but Boncho never stayed in one place for long. He told me that he moved on each time after learning enough. The manager had a long talk with him and then left the operation of the Japanese food team to him. He could always be found in the kitchen, busy with, uh, busy with something, day in and day out. He researched food on his own when there were no customers. He hated to be interrupted. Were you practicing? Well, yes. Training means thousands and tens of thousands of attempts. Practice without rest is the only way to produce meaningful results. I see. I heard that you never skip research and practice, Pancho. It released me to see you so hard at work. 
What do you mean you're relieved? Pancho, would you be willing to try serving a, a VRP? Serving a VRP? That's right. We have an important guest who will increase our reputation. Or rather, who might send it plummeting to the ground. Her name is Lois Crawford. She's an actress that's infamously hard to please, and also a gourmet reviewer. Why do I get the feeling he served her, the shark head? Oh no. It's been about a year since you joined the Dugong Hotel. Our Japanese food team, which was never very strong, received much attention in a short span of time. And we can't deny that your contribution to this was great. However, this means we also get customers who want special treatment. You mean to say that I should try and please this picky woman, Lois Crawford? Yes, this is important, as Dugan Hotel's reputation lies in the balance. Hmm. <clears throat> Pardon? What do you say? For me, cooking has always been a battle with myself, not with others. Making perfect food has always been my goal, and that won't change no matter who I cook for. I simply use the best ingredients available for the, in the current season and the most suitable recipe. Would that be okay with you? Alright, we'll leave the individual dishes in your hands, Pancho. However, I would like to offer input on the method of servicing our guests. Alright, you're the expert, Mr. Yo Ms. Yoshi, when it comes to servicing food. Let's see. Very good. Now for the type of menu to employ... What is Kaiseki? Hmm. Let's go with sushi, yeah, since that's Pancho's strength. A sushi course offers uh, various kinds of sushi in a certain order, with a few side dishes in interspersed in between. It allows us to use sushi to allow, uh, uh, to allow customers to try many types of fish. Do you think of the, what do you think of the sushi course? It is also your specialty. I'm very familiar with the method. However, don't you think it'll be too ordinary? If we choose to go with this, we'll likely use tuna sushi, pike eel sushi, or olive flounder sushi as the main dish. Olive flounder being in season right now. That won't be very impressive, however. Hmm, alright. Here's a good point there. Since it's to be a dinner, I think a course would be better uh, as a single dish. That means I'd, it'd probably be better to employ a western course format instead. Though it'll be a bit different from the traditional method, I think I could add soup, hors d'oeuvres, sashimi, side dishes, sushi, tempura, and desserts to the course. What do you think? Not bad. So what will you be making for each dish? There's, a, there's, the, yeah, there's the soup to begin with. A few minutes later... And now we come to the mention of the shark head, don't you? <laughs> Yes, I think that'll be fine up uh, to the sushi. Nepura is next. I suppose shrimp would be the most logical choice? Hmm. It's difficult to create any impact with shrimp. We've kept everything pretty normal so far, so this is where we add a little spice. Here comes the shark head. I've been, re I've been researching this very topic. How does something like this sound? You must have a good idea. Let's hear it. Shark. I'm thinking of a dish that uses a shark head. What? A shark? Can sharks be eaten? Sharks are a very tasty fish. This is the time of year where they grow fast, boosting the flavor. The meat in the cheeks in particular has a lovely chewy texture which reminds you of you know, both ordinary meat and fish. But shark is too exotic of an ingredient. Couldn't we use something a little wide, more widely consumed? Especially considering this is Lois Crawford. Good food will impress anyone. Anyone who takes a bite will recognize the food for what it is. And that is the best possible food that can be found around here in the current season. Um, I'll give it some thought. I'm not sure if it'll, if it'll be okay. I'm guessing she freaked out at the sight of the shark heads and bombed the place with her review. I can't help but think that it's not that great of an idea, Bancho. Hmm. If you, serve as, if you serve that dish and things go sideways, the consequences won't affect you alone. Both the manager and I will also, will also take part of the blame. After all, she's coming to the Dugan Hotel, not to a restaurant operated by you. 
A hotel must seek to provide the most restful and enjoyable experience to its guests. Nothing can be, uh, be allowed to mar that experience, as the hotel will stand to lose by it. There's no guarantee, uh, guarantee she'll hate it. She'll know from taking just one, uh, just a bite that it's the, one of the greatest foods. There's always an exception to the rule. She's an extremely picking person, after all. What a pity. I understand. I'll go with shrimp tempura then. Though it can't compare to shark. Yeah, he went with the shark head instead. <laughs> and that freaked the hell out. <clears throat> Moment, something is in my shoe. Take off your shoes when streaming, that would be more comfortable for you. <laughs> <clears throat> this way, Miss Crawford. Hmm? I was gonna say, it's probably helpful for you to not have shoes on all the time. True. Yes. Thank you. This is the chef who will be preparing your food today, Pancho. Hmm. He's younger than I expected. I was hoping for a slightly more experienced chef. Oh my, tight-lipped are we? Perhaps my look leave you at a loss for words? <laughs> he seems a little tense. He's still quite a skilled chef, I assure you. I'll be looking forward to the food then. I remember the service here being quite alright for an old hotel. I like the carpet and the paintings on the wall as well. Furnishings at Gloria Hotel have a sketch uh, quality to them that I don't like. But to think there's no gym, that's a bit of a shocker. I need to exercise daily to maintain my figure. This is a hotel, not a... <laughs> not a, a bodybuilding location, miss. Uh, it, some hotels have gyms. It was our intention that your stay be as restful as possible. Everyone has their preferred way of resting. Well, the bathing facilities were good, so I'll, yeah, I'll content myself with that. So, what's for dinner? A Japanese course meal. Here's the course menu. Let's see. Steamed snapper and yam soup, steamed egg, pickled olive flounder fins. Why does it... Okay, with this... For some reason with the stick, it goes through... It jumps two at some point. Okay, the first dishes are steamed snapper and yam soup. This is a steamed dish uh, composed of grilled snapper and roe. Which, uh, which was then steamed, garnished with ground yam. The soup features a rich flavor of fish. With a rich flavor of fish. Hmm. Is that a Japanese soup? It's got a bland flavor coupled with a spicy scent. Quite interesting. That is the flavor of the shichimi. Uh, There's a tiny bit of flavoring provided by a condiment made from seven different spices. The next dish is... Okay... So, the tempura and dessert are left? What's the tempura? Don't tell me it's shrimp. That's uh, the sort that's commonly served with rice. Hey. The, the dessert's no doubt the usual fruit. I suppose I've tasted basically everything. It's hard to decipher her rest and reaction. Have we succeeded? How do you like it? Are you happy with our Japanese food? Well, it's about as good as I expected it to be, I suppose. I suppose I could come here to eat every now and then. But why bother coming to a hotel that to eat food that's quite average? I'm pretty sure Boncho is <laughs> getting pretty murderous in the background somewhere. It, even so, I'm sure our food is better than that of most other restaurants. The snapper soup or something was pretty interesting, but that's it. It was just a fishy soup with a spicy aftertaste. The think you added sticky yam on top. <laughs> Didn't really like the texture. Oh dear, it seems Japanese food isn't all that you know, to your liking. Ignorant of that fact, we served you Japanese. My mistake. Please accept my Jap apologies. Whatever, it wasn't that good, but it was healthy at least. This hotel doesn't even have a gym, so I suppose the food should be healthy at the very least. Um, may I have a word? Pancho! Allow me to introduce myself again. I'm the master chef who works here, Pancho. 
Yeah, one way to get him talking would be to insult his work. Yeah, and I feel like she was about to get hot. She was likely harsh, but not to the level she could destroy the reputation. Mm. So I think not... she may have t enraged him enough to suddenly escalate the situation. Yeah. I'm not much of a speaker, so I've been listening quietly. I find it impossible to maintain my silence now, however. Oh my, do you have something to tell me? Apparently you're supposed to have better food than anywhere else, right? No, no, Bancho. Miss Lois here is just... It is most definitely my fault for failing to provide food that satisfies you. That satisfies you. Will you not give me a chance to make up for my mistake? What? Oh, well, gosh, I'm a very busy woman. What you witnessed today aren't my real skills. I'll serve you food that can be objectively called... Uh, that can objectively be called good. Bancho, you can't be talking about... Hmm. So are you saying you have something else you think will satisfy me? All right, I'll wait. But remember, my time is valuable. Your food had better be amazing. Bancho, you can't be thinking of... What is it, Miss Yoshi? Is there something I'm missing? All done. This is whole roasted shark head. Oh my god. This is... You fried the whole head? It's an amazing dish. The meat in the cheeks hasn't been cut out. It chose to fry the head whole to preserve the supple texture. You'll never taste something like this anywhere else. It's a high quality dish made using the best possible ingredients. Get that out of my sight. How can you call this food? What are you saying? Just take a bite. I guarantee you'll be transported to heaven. I'm not happy about this. Is this what service is like at Dugan Hotel? It, it's all my fault. I apologize. Now, Bancho, Yoshi, you apologize as well. I'm sorry, Miss Lois. I should have been more vigilant. Looks are all not uh, are not all there. All not all there is to foods. Why do you refuse to even try it, Miss Lois? Bancho, now isn't the time to. I find this highly unpleasant. Is this some kind of hidden camera prank or punishment? Just try the damn fish. You'll pay for treating me this way. Don't think I'll, I'll let you get away with it. I'm leaving. Cancel my suite. Charge me a cancellation fee if you wish. I don't care. So, yeah. She was basically too stuck up to even give it a, a shot. Oh, no, yeah, I feel like... She so those were famous ones, but they said had gone her moves are going downhill slowly. Yeah. But she may not realize that herself yet. Uh, I think and she probably did, and she might have wrong. been she might have been doing the review bombing to try and get attention again or something. Hmm. All the wrong kind of attention. After that, Bancha quit his job at the hotel and left, saying he needed to train. <laughs> It's my belief it wasn't so much the cooking itself as the ingredients and cooking methods that he researched. Mm. I see. Still, I admire him a little for not giving up on the belief that he's going on the right path. I suppose it was this. I suppose it was this stubborn side of him that allowed him to retain his current level of skill. Mm. Working with you now, he even started social media. I feel something has changed about him. I like it. I think you're good for him. Please continue to get along. I'll do my best to help Bancho focus on his cooking. Uh, again, for peep anyone that's pregnant, don't eat shark ever. Is yeah. The worst, the, don't fish. Can it recommend it not eat when you're pregnant? No one most dangerous you could eat is the shark. Yeah, because of mercury. Not that yeah. mercury is in a lot of things, but it's just a lot more concentrated in sharks. Not to actually dangerous level at normal, normally, but well, <laughs> since part of that, <clears throat> since uh, yeah, just pregnant women are more vulnerable at that time for with what they eat. Yeah, that does make it uh, a bit too much. <clears throat> actually, it can can become dangerous for a regular person if you dumb enough to eat it way too often. Yeah. 
Thanks. Oh, Dave, you weren't around yesterday, so I was a bit worried. I couldn't get in touch with you via radio either. Okay, we must have gone out of signal range or something. I was at the Sea People Village yesterday. You, you what? What happened? Well, you see... <laughs> Those kills? <laughs> yep. I see. I envy you, I do. What a lucky experience. I'm not sure how I can help, but it's clear they have problems to deal with. Why don't you go talk to the residents first? I'd love to go as well, but... As you said, only one person can use the Sea People mirror. What a pity. <laughs> what an unexpected turn of events. <laughs> if you need any of my tools, don't forget to check out the Cobra shop. Mm. Yes, I'll have to use the Sea People mirror first to, yeah, to visit their village. Okay. Uh, can we get any... Yeah, we, uh, we accidentally skipped the time frame for when... <laughs> We were going to be shown Cobra's new trick, so is that going to is is that going to break anything? You can use the mirror ten and Tenzin uh, gave you to immediately travel to the Sea People Village. The mirror is solar powered, so it is unusable. It is unable to be used at night. <clears throat> new posts. Oh Let's... dear. A bunch of new ones. Oh, oh gosh, we've been published. They said good things. N nice and crunchy with the night sea as a backdrop. Wow, perfect with drinks. I ordered beer right away. Soup made with Cleone? But this big? How? Nice to see people hard at work so late. Hmm? Was I really this drunk? What, 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 what? How embarrassing. Oh dear god. Also, can you really eat Cleone? No clue. For, um, and also the sea slugs that looks like eat, so people call them angel slugs. Because I, I understand if you picked it up, someone picked it up and showed a video, and made a comment that they are extremely lucky that that thing did not kill him right there and then. But are extremely... <laughs> Venomous and one bite, mm. and yeah, you're gone. New Boncho's getting up there in the likes 540 with one of his posts. Holy, we also offer deep sea fitness uh, sushi. Please come by. Let's see, we need to double the best taste and we need to research five more recipes. Let's see, more wasabi, another cooking spots. Wait, more? Can we get, can we get more than two people in the kitchen? Apparently, but I know the cooking spot. I can't find it here. I thought we, I thought expected we would get servitor, servitors. Um, <laughs> this is a wrong franchise. <laughs> yeah, wrong franchise. <laughs> oh God, no, 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 that's a mental man image. <laughs> <laughs> Someone needs to make that uh, fan art. Oh, good god. You mean a ro robotic skulls flying about the serving people, just sushi and beer? <laughs> yep. That's one way to traumatize people. Okay, what do you have in stock? Crates. And some oxygen. Okay. Um, let's see if we... Yeah, we, we need to catch tuna for this party, so let's see if uh, <clears throat> let's see if we can get the tutorial on live catching here. Mirror shark. That's what it's called. Apparently. Oh, and we forgot to call Ellie. Again. Hmm. Okay, for now. Wait, did you talk to Cobra about what it, you're supposed to use to catch the tuna? No, I thought we... Yeah, he was going to pop up with that in the afternoon, but since we skipped the night, I think it's going to pop up in our second dive here. 
but yeah, we can definitely try and talk with him. <coughs> to see if he has anything to say with that. Oh dear. Uh, let's see. Oh. Actually, are we to end stream in five minutes or we extending time? Yeah, we can go a bit longer. All right. I. Hmm. Now, I think we, we just grab as many left. fish as we can, oh? and then we go see if we can get the tutorial for the sec for the live capture. Yeah. Thank you. I'm very curious what it is. It's probably the same sort of thing that they use to uh, bring dolphins to the sea and such. Just using to catch tuna instead? <clears throat> yeah, more to bring them up to the, to the surface. I just, I say we just take a, one of those industrial chain and hooks, throw it at the tuna and drag it up. Yeah, that might also work. Yep. Miss. Oh, you make yeah. tuna puns. To enrage it. And then that proves something. You make so many bad tuna pounds, it actually jumps onto a boat in pure rage. Okay. Come on, there we go. Filling up pretty quickly. And yeah. <clears throat> We'll see about how long we can extend things. Not too long. Wait, we can actually just outright now. Okay, no, we we still just kill you. We don't actually grab you. Okay, still can get some meat off of this. Been a bit since we found one of these. I see a little thing. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll just see how much we can catch and just go back up. Maybe even go early. So we don't spend too much time just swimming around and catching things again. Yeah, I'm curious what you may get. Here we go. Too low, too high. Come here, you. Uh, let's see, over here. Actually, I think I'll waste a little bit of money and just not use the chest. It was only like 40 gold or something. Alright, yeah, I think you cannot afford to do that these times, and bloody heck, early game, that would be too much. There. Some cuttlefish will work as well. Also, they're rather heavy. Okay, not getting <laughs> inked wet on the dry, yeah, on the reel in this time. Okay, that'll do. And yeah, just head out here. Okay. Now, is Cobra going to appear with whatever he was bringing. Hopefully.
It's a longer change. Okay. It's the stream timer. Okay, Cobra, do you have... Up oh, there we go. Well, let's hunt tuna, um, tuna for real, shall we? Take this. It's a steel net sensor trap. Even the swiftest and biggest tuna cannot escape this trap. And I've got a secret weapon for today's hunt. The underwater drone. It took me quite some time to replace the one you broke last time. It's very expensive stuff to buy, you know. But that wasn't my fault. It broke the moment I activated it. I made a big investment for moments like this. This is what a businessman does. Let me show you how to use that. Just follow my instructions. Dive in the water. Okay. We'll do a small extension for this tutorial. It broke... I mean, activated it. That sounds like not his fault, more like whoever built it. Let's see, right now, Cicera something is what that poison thing is actually called. Very long... I, I, I didn't get the chance to read its uh, text there. Um, it sounds from me. Okay, we don't have equipment to change, so we Wait. are in a tutorial. Unless it... No. I hope we get to see that there, but if my memory serves me no. right... Uh, yes? Too much traffic. Uh, if my memory serves me right... It's supposed to be extinct and may have been the prey item of Spinosaurus. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I see Tuna. The fish is big, but fast. I would love to catch them. So they use a tool. That, that is what we're, this is all about here. Okay, set a trap at now. Okay, wait for the Tuna to get caught in the trap. Come on. And it's pretty, there we go. Approach the tuna and call the self, it's dro- ah, bah, bah, bah. Okay. Do we have a limited amount of these that we can call in? Yeah. Oh, it can get this big tuna without a problem. I'm impressed. It's very powerful, so you can even catch- if you ever catch a big fish, use the drone. You will need one of these drones to keep the grade of your catch. Fish with runes can't have a high grade. I will lend that drone to you for now. It's the basic model without any options because it's expensive. Uh, bring that uh, bring that to Eye Diver if you want uh, upgrades. Okay. Now, let's collect as many ingredients as we can before the tuna party. Large fish caught with the net can be retrieved using the salvage drone. You, have, you only have a limited number, but it can be upgraded in the Eye Diver. Okay. So that's how we catch parrotfish safely. Yep. And let's call it there. <clears throat> okay. Uh, before we do anything else, though. If, wait, that counted as three catches somehow. I think that might uh, be. Oh no, th meat for three different dishes possible. Yeah, I saw its size. 250 said it's it's bigger than each of us <laughs> sir i'm ready to take pictures of manta rays i heard i hired some lighting guys and made them set up lighting fixtures at the right places oh you must have spent some money <laughs> one cannot pass up an opportunity like this they told me that the lighting fixtures are set at a depth of 20 meters can you please check them out I expect awesome pictures then. All right, we need to do this at night, I believe. Uh, yeah. Okay, decent haul. All of you go again. Still, we said Jason needs to get soy sauce. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Ellie. Hmm? What's going on? A humpback whale appeared in the blue hole. I think it have my idea. It might have something to say. No. I recorded its cries. Have a listen. Hmm? 
Hmm. It sounds like it's looking for its offspring. Offspring? Yeah, they must be lost somewhere nearby. How about helping me? As you're going, uh, as you're going about, if you hear a young one's cries, can you let me know? Hmm. Well, I can just ignore that. Okay, I'll take a look. All right. And with that, we'll have to call it for tonight then. So, another new save. I do like that it keeps making new spaces for these. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah, again, just this game is taking a lot longer than I expected, but I am not going to complain about that in the slightest. It's... Yeah, like, this way, if you're going to make a long game, make sure the length is worth it. Yeah, and that you don't throw everything at your players at once. Yeah, <clears throat> like... If you somehow make a three-hour movie extremely boring, then you clearly did something wrong. Yeah, I, I'd almost go a bit as to say that this game is like a, a diving Metroidvania, since we keep getting new things unlocked. That's a good comparison. <laughs> like, it's not a true Metroidvania, but... There's just so much little mechanic getting added on that it has the same sort of progression. Yeah, like I think it was partially inspiration, but also something of their own blended in. Yeah. And well, we have a new background here as well, since, well, we're going to we typically raid people. So I thought it'd be a good idea to get a, a look at the prey before we go. Wait. We're about to raid Harold? <laughs> oh, who ship Let's is that? Uh, it's the ship of whoever we're going to raid. And speaking of, let me change the screen share. Da -da -da -da. Change windows. Bridge. And let's see. Who are online? We have Nico Silverado, who is playing Baldur's Gate 3. And from everything I'm hearing of it, I, I'm i sorely tempted to go buy it. The last single-player D&D game that I played, I believe, uh, was either Forgotten Realms Demon Stone or Ni Neverwinter Nights 2. <clears throat> so, yeah, all I'm hearing for... Uh, what I'm hearing of Baldur's Gate is that it ba it's basically Neverwinter Nights <laughs> but a lot better and with without the bullshit of modern games like no microtransactions <clears throat> uh, yeah, let's... Yeah. I've been curious but once I got to know from a friend Durban Lord that it's over 120 gig made me unsure to get it says yeah you know I don't have the positive internet True, but it is one of the... Um, it is a very expa expansive game as well. Like, it's not just filled with textures and stuff. It's actually filled with, uh, well, branching uh, branching uh, story bits and different reactions to different classes and races and all of that. Yeah. So, uh, I hear most anyway. of the good thing. Only one i seen trying to br brew up bad rep to it, and that's... <laughs> One YouTuber, which I told you about, uh, Ark, formerly known as Ark Warhammer. Okay. He has tried to tr stir up trash about it over there. It, people love the new character customization. And from what I saw on his thumbnail, he tried to criticize it and try to turn it political. Uh, anyways, then. Next, we have Lazarus, who is streaming Final Fantasy XV. He finished up with uh, Symphony of the Night, I believe. Uh, I'm Nice is streaming Final Fantasy XIV. Swalbe is playing Fallout. Is that the original Fallout? Let me double check that the place is double muted, as in the browser itself as a source. And, uh, yeah, there we go. Is that the original? Yep, that's the original Fallout. Next, we have Empathize, who is streaming Dark Souls Remastered. 
New Gundam Gaming is playing Scott Pilgrim vs. The World the Game. Okay. Uh, Stream Press is just chatting at the moment. Oh, they're, they're reading Homestuck. <laughs> okay, that's an avoidance for me because not that I've heard bad about that, but I, I've just heard that it goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on. <laughs> yeah. And, and at a certain I, I point, you get to where a... it becomes daunting to try and enter. Yeah, like One Piece. Or other anime and series that go on for season 25. Yeah. Next, we have Touch Scaly Tail, who is playing Remnant 2. WBPL is streaming MechWarrior Online. And speaking of, we'll actually be seeing some MechWarrior ourselves tomorrow. Uh -oh. And last but, least, not, last but not least, we have F uh, Halloween, who is streaming Fear and Hunger 2 Termina. Okay. Any of those that stick out to you? Mm hmm. Fallout, original. Boris Key, Free or Fear and Hunger. I never heard of Fear and Hunger. Apparently, New Gundam is doing a charity stream. And uh, they're approaching their 11th hour without. Uh... <laughs> okay. Uh... It seems like they're on break as well. Yeah, 30 minute break. Uh, let's leave them. Shall we leave them be or shall we join in on let's, the. Let's leave them be. It looks like they are taking its 30 minutes break. Yeah. Okay. Um, favorite hunger you wanted to look at? All right. That, it's, uh, it's an RPG maker horror game. Don't really know much about it. But they have been streaming it before, I believe. Okay. Yeah. So, who to rate then? We've rated Lazarus recently, I believe. Swabe as well, I think. Hmm. I think we rated Swabe a bit well back, but... It... I think we rated Niku last week. Maybe two. I should maybe keep a, a note or something of the people we've rated recently. Yeah, probably a good idea. Um, probably, it says if you go Boris Gate free, that's dialogue heavy. And I don't know how the dialogues work there, so it could be a problem if you raid him. No. Oh, he's just in character. He's making a new character or he's upgrading, he's leveling up? It, yeah, it's a level up, it looks like. <laughs> okay, okay. Just... it seems like he oh. had fun with all the blood everywhere. Too much raspberry yam. Okay. Uh, I remember that we raided them somewhat recently, but shall we give them a poke again? Or someone else? Let's do that, but it doesn't seem like they're in a cutscene moment. Okay. So, copy the name, because I don't trust my fat fingers. Slash raid and paste. Uh, but before we start, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Crazy Jess, for yeah. <laughs> thank you, Crazy Jess, for visiting and, and hope you had it. You hope you enjoyed the show. And thank you as always, Rick here. You're welcome as always, my friend. And we thank you all for joining uh, on this birthday stream. <laughs> uh, yeah, tomorrow we will have Showcase Sunday number ninety nine. And uh, we will have more L.A. Noir in the evening, if nothing comes up in to <laughs> get in the way, of course. <clears throat> Hopefully. I hope everything goes well tomorrow. Okay. And one last change that I uh, made is that I swapped... The, the, uh, the previous outro music that I used was supposed to be only for the Prince of Persia games. So now it is swapped out to the one that I actually wanted to use. So hopefully the audio isn't too loud on that. So uh, if it is too loud, sorry. If it isn't, uh, thank you all this, uh, for watching anyways again. And uh, yeah, until yep, let's start the raid first. And yeah, until next time, have a nice day. And until then. It's for all of us, obviously, goals. <laughs> you went a bit mechanical there, but oh uh, well. Until next. Hey.
Connection to the 